Hello everybody, this is Toxic Talk, ESG, you know, I can never understand this concept of companies complying to a specific three, like three letters, E, S, G, by then they are just scrambling and bend the knee to a large to a set of large companies to you know just obey and do whatever they want so my problem is when it comes the day they add another letter from the ESG when they add another number so these are the question you see once you play you get played in that framework it's done you're done you're over you, you, you're not you're not free anymore you're not a free enterprise anymore you're just a slave company or a slave individual so that's basically what it is and it's so funny to see how stupid like people are even like smart managers and businesses they all fall for it right and basically my internet company I'm planning to change it uh, very soon they all like you go to their website you see big sign of ESG the first thing you see it's like what the fuck what is this so what was wrong with the operation before what just changed you see so these are anything that say complying to ESG to me make me fearful and make make me less willing to do business with them because ESG that means you're just playing fake and all and you also fake not just playing fake but you fake so this is this is my thesis into this, you know. So it's it's weird. It's it's really weird uh, to see how people fall for those things, and people just like by default they just fall out the walls, right? Just like as they've been told. It's like this is my problem into this, you know. Like my whole problem is. A bunch of people decide okay hey you do this you do that you comply to this and you do this it's like hey I don't want to do that okay I, I understand you want you want me to do it but I'm not gonna do it that's it I stand on my feet right so I make my own decision so because as long as I start following these rules I no longer free I'm no longer free so so exactly so this is it and I just wanted to throw this out there because like when you look at like Ethereum right they always talk about decentralization they don't have smart contract and all this you know BS and in the first place right those platforms was already centralized they are just centralized companies, even like Uniswap. You thought Uniswap would be like decentralized. No, it's not a DEX. It's a SEX, decentralized platform, right? So, but they advertise it as decentralized. This is the problem, right? And now Ethereum, right? You have in quote, ESG friendly, right? ESG friendly. What that gonna do? They're gonna make them bend the knee to the government, right? So remember when the Russia first invaded Ukraine, what they do? They ask all U.S. companies, you know, all those NATO countries. Uh, you know, if you form these com- these countries, you have to 
cancel rations customers right like uh, you have like things like McDonald's right the company making people fat it's just you know stop operating over there you know you have other companies Netflix the zombie companies like worthless it's cutting its operation over there it's like all those worthless piece of shit companies they all cutting business with Russia and what do you think that's gonna do for Russia you think it's gonna hurt Russia no make them stronger because all those like zombie worthless companies well they, they are not adding any value there anyway so and also now you have this is what happened right you see these companies they have to comply with the state what do you think is going to happen when there is a request from the state to Coinbase to like deny access right, of service to a specific address in the Ethereum network. Hey, freeze this address. They did this. Freeze it. Okay? So what do you think that's going to happen? Do you think that's gonna, they're going to be like, oh no, it's decentralized. We have it censorship resistant. No. Okay, they have to comply. The same thing with Twitter, Facebook, all those bullshit companies you see YouTube all those nonsense they have to comply that's the that's what Bitcoin fixes nobody in the middle okay this is I don't understand why it's so hard for the shit coiners to understand it's like it's just like man you cannot have in you know people or organization you know it is in you know taking like validating transaction you can't have that okay so proof of stake basically right is allowing people to sense your transaction right you have a stake on the network how much stake do you have then okay then you got 50% of the stake or 51% of the stake. Hey, you allow what transaction that, that's going to go through or not. You can facilitate the hard fork and everybody else, they should just obey and bend the knee. That's what Bitcoin fixes. You got one SAT, you want to run this type of node, you want to validate it. This is your SAT. And nobody else can confiscate it. Nobody else can break the rules on you. Nobody else is better than you. It doesn't matter if, if it's Michael Seller, if it's, it doesn't matter who's the corporation. They cannot break the rules. They cannot block your transaction. It's your fucking money. That's the difference. Nobody, I don't have to worry about what those developers, um, you know, like, I don't care about what those Bitcoin developers are going to do next day. I don't give a fuck about them, right? If I want to support them for doing great work, we're doing a great, uh, you know, development study and maintain the code and do stuff like that, I can, I can like, for in my, I can just decide to just support them, which I sometimes do, right? But I don't care. They cannot change the fucking 21 million. Right? They cannot block me from transacting. They, they, if they come up with this stupid idea tomorrow and say, hey, we're gonna upgrade this. And I said, no, I'm not fucking running this, this, uh, this code. I'm running my version of Bitcoin. And this is my version only. I don't give a fuck what you do, what you say. So this is the this is the point, okay? I don't have to worry about what Charles Hoskinson have to say. 
I'm not a slave of those people. Okay? This is the freedom, the complete freedom from technocrats. This is what Bitcoin gave us. So, anyways, I just wanted to throw this out there. And for all those ESG scammers out there, all those pumpers saying, oh, it is more ESG friendly and all those, you know, all those fiat excrements out there. They think, oh yeah, they think they are just building a good image. No, you're just a scammer. You're getting some money from other scammers to scam the newbies, to scam the preps. Okay, that's what you're doing. You're not a honest person. You're just a fiat excrement. Okay, I love this term. This is my invention for those crazy scammers on YouTube, Twitter, you know, like they, they spam your feed with a bunch of shit coins and they are saying, oh, this is this to this to that. All the scammers. And it, I'm tired, you know, like every time I am seeing all this, it's the same thing, you know. The other time, last time they were talking about up, 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 queen, up, queen, up, queen. You know, they're pumping this thing all the way. And they profit and they they look at the, all the, the subscribers, all the newbies getting hurt. You know, how can you be a human in doing this? You see why? You know why they're doing this? Because of fiat. Fiat, right? 